Welcome to the FCICA product promotional webinar series. We are pleased to have Corey Dickerson from toolsforflooring.com. He's the business developer there. Welcome, Corey. Hi, welcome. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. I'll turn the session right over to you. All right. Well, good morning and welcome everyone to this um, product webinar hosted by the FCICA and um, toolsforflooring.com. I am currently, we were going to have this session on the floor at the um, at the International Services event here in Las Vegas, but due to some connectivity um, reasons, I just said, you know what, let's just do it out of my hotel room and we can make sure we keep the connectivity here so we don't have any, any hiccups or any delays, any added delays to the, um, to the webinar. Um, like like Kelly said, and thank you, Kelly, for the um, for the introduction. I am the uh, business developer for ToolsForFlooring.com, and we we are a um, online company that ships out of um, St. Louis. I've got a little information, a little bit more information about us on the uh, next page here. And well, I'm sorry. Let's backtrack a little bit. This is the session, the description of the session is. I'm just going to introduce who ToolsForFlooring is and what we do, and then. We're going to get into the tools in the flooring industry and how they continue to evolve. Um, we've seen the um, old tools being redeveloped, new tools being introduced in the industry on a, on a daily basis. Um, we've got Kovac groovers, uh, ceramic cutters, rubber buckets, um, knee, knee pads, carpeting utility knives, and seaming irons have, have all seen, seen makeovers. Um, we've also seen the introduction to the Euro notch trials. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are, are familiar with it. Flexible straight edges, so those type of things have made the ins installation business um, made it so much easier for the installer. Um, progress and on-site safety has has called for development and promotion of new styles of dustless um, grinding, cutting, drilling, and/or milling, and you know the shrouds that the guys are using and. We were introduced to a new um, dry saw here that was um, that was introduced to the market about 14, uh, four, about 14, 15 months ago. So I'm going to tap into that when we get to that area. Uh, improvements in new technology on knee pads. Um, that is, believe it or not, has been one of the most exciting things for a lot of installers. They they love the new the new knee pads that are coming out um, because it increased the the longevity of their of, of their body and De decrease the abuse of the body because those we, we know what our installers go go through on a day in day out basis. This webinar we're going to discuss some of the new tools offered by various tool manufacturers and suppliers. About us, toolsforflooring.com is the we are the industry leader in the on online tool sales, uh, shipping in more than eighty countries. We 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 offer the um, the good, better, best products uh, from some of the most established manufacturers and tool companies in the world. 14 years, 14 years ago, the, um, the brand was started. Um, and at the time we were shipping about 10 or 15 packages a day. It was unreal. And now we ship more than 250 um, packages out per day. Um, we had one, one employee who took the orders and entered the UPS and shipped it out. Now we have eight employees. Um, and that's not including the other sites that we ship from. Our our parent company is EJ Welch, and we formed a partnership with Land, Lancaster, which uh, now oversees the Southland Southland Group and Self's Flooring here in the Midwest. So we we ship out of quite a few houses there. Um, we we look forward to offering tools, uh, more tools and installation products that better suit the installer, contractor, and and even the the homeowner's needs. So. Our product list continues to grow, and uh, we hope to provide you with products and the customer care and service that's needed. Learning objective here, um, the evolution of the underlayment stapler and hardwood nailer, new ways to cut and rip uh, luxury vinyl plank and other guillotine cutters, uh, keeping the site dustless, with uh, dust collection systems and other tools for a um, for a 
site, I'm sorry, for for the site to be clean and free from harmful dust. Ceramic cutting uh, with dry and wet saws and increasing produ production. Hand tools and other tools that are useful for, that are usually forgotten or overlooked when, when adding the finishing touches to a job. The new and hot tools is one of my favorite parts uh, in the flooring industry. And um, we'll, we'll be open for discussion on tools to prep, groove, and, and um, and well sheet vinyls are those are are, are are we coming in in demand and we can we can we can discuss that we can have that in an open discussion if we'd like I'm gonna go back a little bit here because I kind of went too far there we go the first topic is going to be nailed it and it's exactly what we're talking about we're going to talk about nailers and staplers there are various nailers and staplers on the market today we are going to discuss the benefits of primatech and power nail and some of the new features they are bringing to the industry power nail is the long stay everyone knows power power nail by name um, we know it by by just by by what it is and we've learned to stock more of their staples and 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 um cleats um, they've continued to push the envelope and develop new technology, not only with the tools, but with their fasteners. Um, the, they have a slightly curved profile on their, on their HD head. It's their HD technology. Um, that head, it doesn't split the tongue, your tongue and groove, or it helps to reduce the squeaky floor. So that, um, cleat helps you keep, keep the fasten and, and pretty tight. Uh, they've reduced surface dimpling and less damage during installation with, with their HD head technology. Um, those, um, the HD cleats are available in both their 18 and 20 and 20 gauge power cleat packets. Um, the guns offered by power nail continue to change the market. Their new series of F, their new F series include both 18 and 20 gauge quick gun style triggers and an 18 gauge flooring stapler. Now, mind you, um, I do believe that if you have one of the old style guns and you're moving to the uh, new HD cleat, I think there is a kit that you can order or you can call into a, one of your, your, your local uh, supply houses. And I think they can get that kit for you to uh, convert your current gun over to operate the HD technology. Um, and if you just want to buy a new gun, you can always go into the flooring. There you go. I had to, had to drop that in there. Um, Primatech has continued, um, I'm sorry, the, 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 the 50F and the um, two, 2000F, the 50F is there, is there, um, it's a flooring stapler. And that thing is that thing is is pretty pretty sweet looking. I've got pictures of it on the next page. And the um, 201845, the 2000, they actually um, had a couple changes with with that with the um, with the trigger there, the safety trigger, and it's got the um, it's got the quick quick gun, so you can really really get after when when in, when installing. But um, one of the other really good features is the um, I want to call it their um, the uh, the shoe or the boot at the end of the um, at the end of the the end of the chamber where your where your fasteners go in. It's so easy to adjust now. It's just with one little lever you can swing swing the lever and it can go up and down to fit what whatever uh, ap application you need it for. It's pretty pretty sweet. Um, but that's power power nail. You know they're they're up in up right outside of Chicago area. And we, I see those guys quite, quite often. Uh, they're, they are here at Surfaces, and they are really, really working with, with us to, to get the information out on their, on their guns. Um, Primatech, Primatech is a new. Well, I say new. They're probably, I don't know, ten or eleven years on the market, uh, but they're, but they're, um, they're, they continue to have a large amount of growth in, in the U.S. They have a different design to their, to their handle. And the the handle that they have is more of a it has a um, soft kind of sponge like to it that allows your hand to it's almost ne neoprene style, but
but it, it allows your, your hand to create a comfort grip that suits whichever installer is going, going to be using it. Um, and the guys that I've, I've talked to that uses it say they love the fact that the, the handle is so much higher that they don't have to bend as much. Um, the, the, the striking pad is so much bigger that um, it, it doesn't, they don't have to gen generally like aim to even hit the, the, um, the, the striking, the striking spot. Um, they, um, they have a, they have a rolling mechanism as, as to um, power now. Uh, their, their rolling mechanism is four, I want to I think it's six groove wheels and they go right on the outside of the tongue and it allows that, that the uh, gun to flow so freely up and down. Um, the dual action and fully adjustable base can rest right on the tongue and that prevents the, the top edge um, denting and minimizes dimpling uh, effect to the hard surface and high glossy floor. So that thing, it's just, it, it grooves, it rolls so smooth. They also have the uh, load extend magazine which holds more fasteners than any other tool and, and with the same channel length. length. Um, it lets you, um, the stapler elbow magazine can hold up to six sleeves of staples. So uh, it's about 276 and it makes for longer, much longer runs without the need to stop. So you don't have to get up and replace your, 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 your staples. You can just load that thing up and go, go after it. Um, one of the, cool things that I've learned about Primatech is that they have um, they send a lot of guns to the NWFA and that's what the NWFA do. They, they do a lot of their certifications with. It's, it's pretty cool that they allow, they are getting their, their guns out and they're getting them in installer hands at an, at an early time so that they could get a little bit more familiar with it. And, and that in turn has, in, has increased their, their growth, their yearly growth. Um, here are some pictures of, of some, some of the nailers that I was just talking about. With Power Nail, with Power Nail we have the 1800 to your top left. That's the red gun. And as you can see with the red and the green gun, the green gun will be the 2000. You can see the flex roller kits on them. And that's that's how you, you can adjust that that, um, that particular spot right there, the, the, the flex adjustable. You can slide that up and down the um, chamber there. And it really works good with the um, with the uh, floor that way. And then you have the, the 50P, the big railroad down at the bottom in the middle. That is the other one with their flex rollers. I didn't put the roller kit picture on on there, but it, it does um, roll up and down the um, the application or the the in install just like the power note, the pro Primatech does. And as you can see, the uh, handles on the Primatech guns they have that that black grip on them. Um, it's pretty good. And you see their striking zone is a really big, large capsule. Um, another cool thing is that. When you, if you have a breakdown on a, on a Primatech gun, you can unscrew the black cap and that whole sleeve comes out and they will send you everything that it takes to install the gun and they will teach you how to, how to fix it right there on the spot. It's pretty sweet. Um, we have both of these. We stock both, both lines. I, I am not going to be one to speak against either of the guns. Both of them are very, very good. I'm, I'm not brand, brand specific. So. I, I can't um, tell you which one is better than the other. I, I think they're both excellent tool lines. Did anyone have any questions about any of the Pyronel or the Primer Tech guns? We haven't had any questions yet, Corey. Any, as, as Corey uh, mentioned, we can uh, take questions at any time. Um, just go ahead and submit them, and I'll let Corey know when you guys have a question. So just pipe up when you have one. Thank you, Kelly. <clears throat> and excuse me, guys, if my voice goes in and out, it's because I've been chit-chatting to everyone in the dry desert all week, and um, it, it's, it's, it's a little cracky at times. I apologize in advance. <laughs> but I do have water here, so that's good. Um, you're down with LVP, Luxury Vinyl Plank. Um, and 
the past, utility knives, a tape measure, and a straight edge has been the tools needed um, when 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 installing or cutting your 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 tiling, your planks, your your vinyl tile and plank. Yeah, we've had those uh, what they call them the A-type tile cutters with the wheels on the back from probably crane or gun gun lock, and those things have worked over the years. They were awesome. Um, yes, life we thought was was easy, but you had so many tools back then to use or to just do one common job. Uh, we now have cutters. We're gonna have cutters and rippers to do the job of all three of those tools. Uh, the guillotine style cutters now have measuring measured devices and, and edges or guide bars with a with a tape measure on them um, that can cut angles and and at the exact length desired. Um, when, when cutting with when cutting the width of a uh, piece. A plank there are tools now that we have that can rip and some of them really just do more of a score you can score and snap it and you know it'll work just fine um shown shown below are some of those cutters so, so i brought some of those cutters here and just a quick side note while being here at surf at services i've visited the bullet tools booth then they've got some very exciting um, tools com coming out here in, in 2018 i can't wait to get my hands on, on a couple of them um, one of them is their pal Paladine, and it's a um, it's air powered, and it's a cutter that's unreal. Uh, but from the top here, we have the um, we have the bullet. I think that's I'm gonna call that the uh, nine thirteen. That's the thirteen inch series. And as you can see, if you look at the at the right hand side of the of the of the bed of the cutter, you'll see a uh, like a steel beam down down the side. So that has all your measuring on it right right there, and they they have them up to 18 inches in some some cases. So you can slide any five, you can slide up to about a 10 inch piece of plank through there, and the holes that are in the bed are is where the the angle pieces come in the the angle guide. So once you get it in there. You can angle it and guide it to whichever way you'd like to cut it. It's unreal. Um, the second cutter, going from left to right, the, the middle one up top, it is it, it's a um, it's a rip cutter from D cut, and you can slide your material in there, and it has a measuring vice on it as well, where you can cut the the length of of a um, of a piece of plank. It's it's just been been down like in the in the traditional guillotine style and it'll just chop right down on it and as you see it out it comes with wheels as well um the the cutter that's the first one on the second level that is a um it can that's a cutter that can actually cut your plank and give you a beveled edge on on the plank it's really cool um and it too can cut to length it's got the measuring devices and all that good stuff and the one across from it, you see it has a large measuring device on it. And that that measuring and, and angle piece can swivel and move in all different directions on that bed and create even more um, um, designed or um, specialty cuts for you. We we also have, I, I've, I've also seen Roberts have a cutter, uh, crane, and good and gun lock, and when when it comes to the to the guillotine style, you know they they all, it, most of them pretty much look the same. I mean, they, you can't get them too far away from it. They all have pretty much the same operating mechanisms. But for you, um, you really want to make sure that you have one if for our for our commercial use, you want to make sure that that you have one that the the operating mechanism is. Is um, industrial. Um, the ones from Bullet that I've seen are really strong. Um, they work very, very well. We we stock up. We stock all the kinds. We stock the D cut, the Bullet, the Crane, the Gunlock, the Roberts. Um, but I've 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 come to to tell you that um, the user will be the one that will determine which cutter that that they really desire or the one that 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 you really want there i enjoy uh working with the with the bullet cutters uh, they seem to be the ones that have worked very well for me but 
like I said before, I'm non-brand specific. It's going to be up to the user, whichever one that you guys would like. Any questions? Okay. Have any questions so far? Is it wet or is it dry? Um, that's becoming the the um, the big question um, in in uh, tile cutting, ceramic tile cutting. Traditional large form format ceramic tiles, we have saws and cutters that that are both wet and dry. Companies like Ruby, Dewalt, IQ, Sigma, and many others continue to make ceramic cutting less less of a difficult task. Uh, we even have a dustless dry power saw now. It's unreal. Um, what's even better is some of the blades being offered are amazing with stability plates um, for, for blades, stability so you don't get that vibration when you're cutting through uh, to continuous rim mesh or notched to allow the air and water to flow through the blade to keep it from, from over overheating and to uh, extend the life of the blade. Um, these these blades and the technology just continue to to evolve. Um, those the those with the with the airflow, they even offer a much better and cooler cut. Um, we have the rail cutters, the push or pull cutters, the power saws. Um, the I'm going to go to the uh, next page where I think I have the pictures of them on them. If you the top left corner is couple of the uh, Sigma cutters. Um, I've, I've seen those used by many of installers, uh, especially when you go to uh, when, when you when you go to coverings and you see some of the demos that that, that they're doing there. Those guys just fall in love with the Sigma cutter. Um, I've seen many of installers get their certification with the Sigma cutters. Uh, they're so precise. They have an easy glide mechanism. Uh, they're 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 more they, they have both the push and the pull technology on them. And so does the uh, two that are right under them, the, the Montelit. They have the push and pull snap, um, score and snap technology. Unreal what, what they do with those with those cutters. Um, we also have the uh, Ruby score and snap. Ruby has their designed rail system that, um, that has been tested and is always unmatched on the market. They have their different styles of scoring wheels. You can cut uh, glass, some of their um, scoring wheels. You can cut marble, ceramic. And um, I've worked with, with the Ruby team pretty, pretty close. Um, did, a, did a visit with them down in, in Miami at one of their facilities to actually see their, their technology and, and work. Um, they have the manufacturing facilities over in Barcelona, but they send a, a, a um, tons of tons of equipment and tools over to the U.S. Um, I've had several guys testing out on those, and they they they, they really enjoy them. Um, I put the I put the blades in the middle. I'm going to come back to those, and I'm going to continue with the Roberts with the far right side at the bottom. That's going to be the rail cutter. Uh, it's it, it's wet powered. It's it's so easy to to move around. It's got the the wheel system with it. I think you can break that thing down in about three minutes and have it ready to be mobile. Excellent rail, rail cutter. When you're talking about rail cutters, you really want to talk big format tile. Uh, those guys can, in some instances, I've seen I've seen tile come in at about 48 inches. Um, the tile just continues to get bigger and bigger, especially with some of the wall for with some of the wall applications. So you can have tile come in at at, at almost five feet long. And what are you going to use to cut with it? Well, that's what these rail rail cutters are here for. Um, next to it is what's been considered the um, number one star um, wet saw in the country. And I, and I and I was told that, and I really didn't believe it until I started going around and started seeing these Dewalt. Uh, D twenty four thousand S in so many facilities, it is an amazing saw. Um, what I've learned is that they're just a little bit when they come out the box. There's a little adjusting that you need to do with the fan wheel on it, or with the with the blade wheel on it. You adjust it out just a tad bit, and then the the accuracy on it is like dead on. It's unreal, but it's just uh, it's it's a very small adjustment you have to make on it, and then the uh, cut becomes unreal. It's got one of the largest uh, wet pans in the industry. I, I've 
I've seen guys just um I've I've ran ran into into guys and they'll they'll tell me that they've that they've had their their dwalt saw for about seven eight years and the only thing that they've done was just like clean like uh, change some bushings on it or something but it still functions like it's brand new so it's it's a really really good saw um the one on the left that's that's the one we're going to chit chat about just a little bit it is the um it is the iq Oof. i can't think of the exact it's brand new to us so i'm not so trying to keep my so still trying to learn a little bit more about it but it's the it's the iq dry dustless that's right it's a dustless uh saw and it it has a, a dustless te technology where it in, where if you look under the silver part you'll see two you see three things that are coming down and that is the vac system that that they have there it collects the uh 99.97 um percent of the dust it is uh, OSHA approved. The VAC system, I think, is at 92 CFM. They have a three-chamber dust collection system there. Um, this particular saw, you can cut all day. You can cut up to 24 hours with it before you have to clean the uh, you have to clean the filter. And how you clean the filter, you just twist it. You twist it, and, and that has been OSHA approved because that's an internal cleaning mechanism for the filters. They have three filters built into it. Um, they have one for the large debris, one for medium, for, for the medium debris, and the last filter is for their, their fine or their, their fine air debris that, that can fall into the pan. It is an unreal saw. It, is, it does have a laser on it. Um, when we come back up, we'll look at the at the orange blade that says IQ, the Q drive drill. I mean, the, the Q drive blade. When operating the IQ dry saw, you can actually do cuts. And when you're as soon as you're done cutting, you can touch the blade, and it is not hot at all because of the vacuuming. The vacuuming actually pulls the the debris while it's cutting, and it also cools down the blade now there was talk on on the market there was talk within the industry that it can't do miter cuts well they have developed a new uh guide that you can buy um extra that does allow it to do miter cuts so they're continuing to make sure that this saw can do the things that's needed in the industry um i i've used it uh, here at services i've used it about four or five times uh the the track on it flows so so easily you flip the bed over and everything is still the casters are still they glide on it on a nice little track that's still and, and and it's built with such integrity that you can the guy said that you can actually drop it off the truck and you won't lose the uh, accuracy of the of, of, of the blade and this glide technology unreal that saw can break down in about two minutes and it'll be on its rollers it's just that cool um if you look at the two blades up there you can see the continuous rim outer mesh on both the iq and the ruby blade and you'll see inside the middle that they both have the stability plate there to to reduce in that vibration that i was speaking about earlier um if you have any questions now about the blades or about the saws, I can take those now as well. We haven't had any questions come in yet, Corey, but uh, anybody out there have a question, go ahead and chime in anytime, and Corey would be happy to answer it. Oh, thank you, Kelly, again. And we're going to talk a little bit about dust control. We uh, Back in June, we did have the... Um, we, we did have the HEPA webinar, and right now we're going to talk about just keeping the site dustless. Um, in 2017, that brought the silica dust control to, and it also brought tons of acronyms like CFM, DCS, PPE, and several others. Uh, in this section, we're going to discuss the different styles of, of DCS on the market. We're going to look at uh, self-cleaning reverse poles uh, on dual filter shaker systems. The uh, systems we, we discuss will all meet the compliance rule um, implemented by OSHA. Hmm. Another acronym. Uh, Self-cleaning systems 
have um, an, an automatic shaker system that helps release the fine dust particles that allow your HEPA filter to continue working efficiently. Um, those, those mechanisms can be in the form of um, where you can have more of them, it has, um, it has to be more than one filter built into the system. And the shaker system allows one filter to continue working while the other one does a quick dump. And that can happen like every 20, 25 seconds. Those things can keep going back and forth because you want to make sure that those filters remain clean. And while doing so, you do not want to lose um, any CFM suction power. So they try and make them pretty rapid and pretty quick. So and 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 um, spontaneous so that you don't have to go and do anything with the system. Now, most of them have indicators on it to let you know when the filters are now past their past their limit. Um, and those those systems are pretty damn cool. Um, the reverse pulse technology, um, excuse me. The reverse pulse technology uh, have a have a built-in air pulsation mechanism that causes the filter to clean by uh, shutting off the intake and forcing the suction to shake the filter. So when you have your hose plugged in, you would unplug your hose and and plug up. They have a um, you would unattach your your hose, and then they have a plug that goes over the 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 um, the connection spot. And what you have then is they have a flapper or some type of uh, system that you can open up another air chamber to allow the air to go in. And when that air goes in, it forces the um, it forces the filter to to shake itself, or it'll like jump up or pop up. And when it does that, the dust will fall off of your main filter and then go through into your HEPA filter. And some and some in most cases, you'll have a bagging system or even a tray system at the bottom of the vac that the um, the particles will fall into. You have a bagging system. Some of them have like the um, we call them sausage bags or long long bags or con continuum bags, where you'll just zip tie the bottom of the bag, and allow the dust to come through, then zip tie at the top, cut, and then zip tie again so you can continue get the bag going. Those are pretty cool. Uh, the dual filter systems, which I was speaking about a little bit. Um, they they utilize both filters while one filter is operating the other filter cleans itself through self pulsation and that that is that that pulsation is a little bit different than the shaker systems because the pulsation on the dual filters it, it, it's, it's, it's it's a continuum uh thumping of that of that um, of that of that filter the shaker systems just they will go from one to the other and kind of shake the thing kind of shake the filters, but the, with the self-pulsation, it's like a pulse. It's almost like a heartbeat that those things will keep beating, you know, keep thumping. And while you're using them, you'll, you'll, you'll hear it just flicker every time. Um, what I have here is uh, I just brought up, just show just only four of the vacs, but all, all of these have some of the the um, keys that we were, we were talking about. The Husqvarna has, um, that's the, I think that's the S26 that we have here. The S26 from Husqvarna, it has what's called a, um, it has a pre-separator built onto the back of it. And that pre-separator that pulls all of the heavy debris and has it dump into a different canister. And then the, 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 the fine debris goes through your your HEPA filter, and that extends the life of the HEPA filter. Then it goes through your conical, and then it drops down into the bagging system, which I was talking about right right there. Uh, zip zip tied, and it comes on through. Pulse Back is a company out of uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and they they started some uh, pulse uh, some reverse pulse air technology about 15 years ago. Um, I've got one of their vax here i think it's the 2150 i have here in in, uh, in las vegas and that particular vac has the it has three hepa filters in the top and they all work independently and they have <coughs> excuse me and they have both the um the, the reverse technology the reverse air technology and the pulsation act and that thing it is a beast it works very well though it's a it's a beast. It's huge. Um, I've, I've heard guys talk about it being difficult to work with when it comes to their, their installation groups. Or if you have a team and you're flying around the country and you do a lot of stuff, it's hard to um, it's 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 hard to travel with. However, when you see these these machines working, they are unbelievable. 
Um, it's got three different filters, and, they, and all three of the filters are long conical uh, HEPA filters. And instead of the dust building up, it actually dumps it down in, in, into, the, into the canister. You can run the dust all the way up to the filters on these, and they will continue to work. They also have a sensor, uh, uh, an air fill system sensor in it. That will let you know when the when the tank is getting when the filters are getting getting pretty ugly. The 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 Dewalt, um, I think that's the DWV 010. It has the two filters. Now this one does the shaker system, so it has the pulsation act in. I mean, it has the shaker act in it, where you'll you'll hear the one filter on, and then 20 seconds later it'll kick off, shake, and then the other one will come back on. They go back and forth. It has an internal bagging system. Uh, with the paper bags, or you can put you, you can keep it into the into the tank there. Uh, but the only the only catch about the about the Dewalt one is you can tell the filters are kind of cut off flat there. But that's you keep it so that the uh, dust system can the dust can can come up into it. It's pretty it's, it's a pretty cool work of technology there uh, with with that. Um, the last one is the um, Wolf Stand Up Vac. Wolf is they just recently jumped into the vac, into vacs when they uh, really in introduced their scarifying machines and how and how how, how they work. Um, they have really really tried to. Uh, They've really tried to master the the technology. They have what's called the they have the the reverse air airflow technology. So if you look at the machine and if you look at the top right side of the machine, it's a little flat there. So the actual connection valve has been covered. So when that's covered and you flap the reverse air, it allows the top part of the it allows the top filter to kind of like go up and down, which causes that shaking. Um, or the or the drop system, which allows all the dirt pot particles to fall through the conical, which is built into there, and then it releases it into the bagging system as, as, as well. Um, that would that one and the Husqvarna, they have four casters on them, so it's easy to move them around. Those they they can move move pretty freely. The uh, Wolf Vac it actually lowers for transport, so you can move move it around pretty easily as well. Is there any questions there? We've not had any questions thus far, Corey. Awesome. What did I forget? And that seems to be a lot of the installers. So we have a lot of guys that are running to our brick and mortar buildings. Man, I forgot. I forgot this. I forgot that. And um, while it's well, while it's good for business, it's also bad for their individual business because it, it takes them off the road. It takes them from getting close to the job and getting on, on the job site and getting their jobs done. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So often we forget small tools, straight straight edges, knives, tape measures, etc., and we leave those disposable items, blades, applicator bottle, mixing buckets. Um, forcing us back to the supply house or even back to the warehouse, blow some of the items that we easily can easily add to our job toolboxes and save us some time from those dreaded uh, trips of shame is what I call them. Uh, you have the uh, cove, ba uh, cove base grooving, grooving device. So you can use that on the back side of your cove base for your outside corners. Um, we have the, the Orcon, um, the carpet knife. This one is, they called it the, the blue knife. It's got a nice little grip technology on it that, that Orcon have done with their classic knives. The classic a action knives is what the guys used, used to call them. They did this to both their carpet knife and their utility knife. So you can find those blue grip ones. They're really cool um, when when cutting. Um, if, if you're working up a sweat, the, the, un, unlike the old silver ones, the old, the old silver ones can actually slide out of your hands. Some guys still prefer the silver ones to just put on some gloves and, and work with them. Um, we've got a nail driver there um, that works. You would be amazed at how many guys come in and buy buy the nail drivers. They, they just love those little deals. Um, you've got the flexible 
it's a it's a flexible straight edge and this one this particular one has the uh, t connector on it to make it more to i mean you have the flexible straight edge and then it's got the t connection to make it to a square straight edge um you can roll this thing up throw a clip on it and throw it in your toolbox it's that cool and when you roll it out you just i've i've went on some sites and just dropped it on the floor and watched the guys go what is that and why don't i have one um they are awesome to, awesome to work with you um they've created one that has a felt back on it or a, a felt back and a cork backing for anti-slip so when you're when you're down on the floor it, it doesn't move at all it's those are those are nice um the rubber bucket above it and a guy tell me well why would i spend 15 bucks on a rubber bucket i said how many buckets do you buy in a year he said ah, 20 25 i said those are about two dollars each three dollars most so now you spend about 75 bucks on a, on plastic buckets this rubber bucket unless your guy takes a knife to it it is not going to wear um it is those things are unreal when you're mixing grout you can just let it just sit there and let it go ahead and dry and take a rubber mallet to it boom boom pop it a couple of times dump it out rinse it out it's clean it's ready to go they're made from re recyclable re recycled tires um they're amazing buckets uh we i think we have them in i think we have them in one gallon four one gallon three and a half gallon and nine gallon buckets so you want to mix a bag of feather finish or you want to mix a bag of, of some self self leveler you can do that with them um and of course we have the old professional uh carpet all that's you know that's always forgotten and then we'll you know, this is some of the guys should say i'll just use my screwdriver but those who like their carpet oil there those are just a few of the common items that that are that are forgotten before we get to the job sites and we're gonna move on to these items are on fire these are the items that are on the market that have come out that have done unbelievable in the last year to uh, 16, 18 months, year and a half. Um, I'm only going to show you 10 right now. We've got quite a few more, but um, due to time restraints, and I can talk about these 10 items for the next three days if you if you allow me to. Um, but we're I, I brought these 10 items, and they are they have been the go-to items even here at surfaces um we have the ruby yw the prony ap16 the bullet glider the wolf leno cut uh, swinco has the still flex knee pads the d cut millwork base cutter hog brute's got the 17 inch um, buffer with dust collection system that is amazing Fast and Master has both the HB220 glue gun and their auto feed screw gun. And then um, Mozart's Skyven knife is it's a really cool tool as well. On the next page, I actually have pictures of them all. Um, well, throughout the next few pages, we have pictures of them. Um, the, the Ruby YW notch for large body, um, large, large body ceramic trout. It is large body towel. I'm sorry. Woof. It has what they call the, um, it's got zipper technology or some guys call it a tiger tail te technology, but it's got a ziplock technology for large body or, and even even better for um, re repair jobs. You can spread it in, you can spread the mortar and you can back butter your tile and then you just set it into the desired area. And instead of doing the old set and twist, you just set and press. And when you press down on your on your towel, it it allows the uh, legs of the of the mortar on both the on both the floor and on the towel. It allows them to zip together, and through the pressing action, that is what allows the um, the air to escape, which creates that that overall better um, connection with the with the mortar and the and the towel. It's unreal. Um, Pro knees came out with the AP16 knee pads. It's a smaller version of their traditional i think it's the 714 and the 714 pro um guys love them it's one of its next to the swinco steel steel um uh, steel flex knee pads those are two of our biggest and most popular solid knee pads um 
the still flex knee, knee pad has what's a honeycomb um, washable and dry and you can wash it and dry their knee pads the um the end the insert is made of of a poly material that it's uh it's, it's in a honeycomb format it is um they're they're they're, they're pretty good they've won the award for most in, in innovative product last year at 2017 um, services e event um, the bullet the bullet tools glider so this little uh, tool here you can take your plank and you can glide it it's got a measuring device on it as well you take your plank and you screw down the uh, scoring the scoring blade and you can take your plank and glide it right through the bottom portion of that and it will um, actually rip cut your plank tile for you it's small enough to throw in a toolbox um, you can move it around pretty easily it's you can drag it on the floor with your small small tool but it does big big jobs um, the d cut the vinyl millwork uh, base cutter and that my I, i've done several mill millwork base in, install cuts with my uh, with my um, miter saw and if you're one who's cut that before, you've seen the bottom edge of it kick out every time, and it's pretty pretty difficult to install that, that that millwork base. But with this cutter, it cuts at a razor blade. It cuts razor blade thickness, and D cut has a 45. Then this goes to a uh, 22.5 degree angle to cut um, the the millwork base with. We all know every piece it says for you to miter edge it so it can slide together. To reduce um, any any dust particles getting in between each each um, each each piece, but this allows that miter cut to be so easily done. And your there's three things that you can take off the job. You don't need power; it's gone. Setup is minimal. You don't have to set up all your stands, and then your cleanup is it's beyond. When you're using the old miter saws, it would create so much dust and debris and little particles you have to come back clean it you find the stuff three weeks later with this one that's that's not happening at all um the wolf the wolf lintel cut it's been pushed um as one of the best tools for vinyl in installation by some of the head some of the um uh master floor floor layers it's got um dual cut it's, it's it's got a push pull technology with it the the bed of the cutter rides on the material which doesn't displace the glue in between your gaps and it allows a really really clean clean cut um, both front and back an excellent tool they also have what's called um what's the other one they have the little cut and they have a green cut and the green cut is more for the edge ripping creates a seven degree bevel under under the material so you don't just dis displace the glue as well pretty pretty cool tool there um the mozart skiving knife it's it takes the the old guide knife and the old um rod guide it takes those off the job and it also eliminates that wider surface when you're doing a glide cut with your with your big blade it takes it all the way down to a size of the rod and you can do the, the two pass system is there i became um very fond of this tool and i was learning uh some of the some of the vinyl ins installation though that tool is it's 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 a must-have if you're a guy that's just doing um some some vinyl in in installation the flexmaster hb220 it's not your normal um hot melt gun um that gun i think the temperature is up to 420 degrees on the glue sticks um they have two styles of glue that goes with that. They have um, a, what's called the Flexmaster 40 and a Flexmaster 180. The 40 is set, it's, um, it can set in 40 seconds, the 180 in 180 seconds. When you're putting down tag strip, you're ready to install with the Flex 40. You're ready to stretch on it in five minutes. And I think the 180 is seven minutes, but I can be wrong. It's written on the box, but they're right in that, in that same area. Um, those those guns are you can use that glue. We've used the glue for first rolling, installing wood, crown molding to eliminate any any surface any um, surface nailing. 
you can get rid of all all of that with 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 that gun. Uh, the flex master screw. Make sure that the um, make sure the material is clean that way. Make sure the floor is clean where you're installing though. That's a that's a must. The flex master auto feed gun. Very light. I'm sure a lot of you guys have used the swing swingco. I mean, you guys have used the Cinco and some of the other ones um, that are out on the market. This gun is uh, this is very light in weight. I think it's about maybe six pounds. Um, I'm six foot three and I've used it. it minimal bending. I mean, it it works so so fast. Um, you can use it. They have screws for both uh, cementious backboard, um, uh, underlayment board, or for your normal wood 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 subfloor. Um, guys have used them on decks also for insulation. This particular one, you can take the um, you can take the the um, extension out of the middle, and it can become a smaller gun. You can use a fence for for other applications, hanging drywall, such, such things like of that nature. The Hawk Brute 17 inch buffer. It's pretty new to us, but um, it's it is. It's a um, it's it's just it's pretty impressive. At 1.75 horsepower, it, um, it it packs a punch for the job. It has that dust collection system that mounts onto the top of the of the motor. It also has um, it also has mounting stations for the horseshoe uh, weights that you can add on on top of it to keep the to keep the uh, to keep the head of the head of the um, head of the buffer down onto the floor. I've had a lot of guys who've used the, they've went with the uh, pearl hex head to, for in installation, I mean, for um, scarifying floors. They've used the pearl hex and that thing works, works pretty good with that as well. Um, just if there's any questions. We did have a question come in uh, Corey, for you. Um, the question is, the Pro Knee AP16 knee pads, are those custom order like the full size? I've not seen those before. Uh, no, the AP16 is a one one size. Uh, the, the straps, they're just like your, um, I think they, I want to say we have buckle straps on them, but no, they're, they're not custom. They're not custom sized. Um, they, um, they're new to, they were, I think they came out about 18 months ago as well. Um, but it, what they, we do have the, the rebuild kits for the AP-16s, just like you do for the traditional 714s, the, um, the, the, the custom ones. Uh, we've had guys that have used those. Um, I've met a couple guys yesterday that said that they've used their, their AP-16s for the last year. And they use them every day and have not had to have it re rebuilt. I did have one one guy tell me that the only thing that he has had go wrong with his is that after a while the strap kind of broke, and that's all he's he's replaced is the straps on them. Okay, thanks, Corey. Uh, there is another question uh, for you. This one um, is uh, is the dust collection part of the Hawk Brute catching dust? off the top of the motor too. I can see it is mounted there and you mentioned it's mounted there, but I can't tell by looking at the picture. Oh the the um the actual dust ports are are around the um the shroud that's there. That connection on top is just to allow the the um the uh, tubing a place to go because the tubing you don't want it dragging all around on the floor or hanging off the machine that's the only place where they found that they can mount where the tubing can come up from the floor and then connect right there over the over the motor and then it can drive it right into whatever dust collection system that that you have okay thank you those are the only questions we have right now cool um, I think this is just a little bit more information about tools for flooring. It's a division of EJ Welch Company Incorporated and established business proudly serving the flooring industry since 1962. Uh, since 2003, tools for flooring has become, has been offering a large selection of flooring equipment, supplies, and accessories online. Our customers have come to rely on us for competitively priced leading brands for installation products. It's our mission to provide quality products, people, and service to our customers to help our customers succeed. I'm sorry. We have worked to provide only the best products for manufacturers you can rely on, like Crane, Gunlock, Roberts, Wolf Tools, and many more. Our products are shipped from several fully stocked warehouses throughout the Midwest and United States. 
We take pride in our excellent customer service team and encourage interactions with our customers. Shipping products to more than 80 countries globally, we're confident that we can help you with your flooring needs. I went ahead and took the liberty to show, um, to list some of our value partners, as you can tell, uh, we, we, we supply from, from a uh, large, large grouping of uh, vendors. Um, I have just a couple of our installation product guys on there, but um, as you can see, um, it's across the map and we work with uh, a lot of vendors. Uh, I, I did mention, I did not mention the wonderful tools from, from Dimer Brush, Raimondi, um, Taylor Tools, uh, Russo Technology. I did mention something about pearl abrasives, turbo tools, turbo welding, tracks um, with their um, cool, cool glide iron and the, and the cool glide technology. So we, we do offer quite a few and, and national flooring equipment. I mean, they've got some of the best demo tools in the in the industry with their with with, with their write-ons and so does an, an Novatech with with the write-on equipment um so we 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 offer a wide array wide variety of um tools and tool selection so if, if there's not so if you go on the site and if you see some if you don't see something that you're looking for it's easily to reach out to me i'm always willing to do research and develop and grow our tool offerings And I did list uh, my my email address and my direct line to my desk. So it's all there. If you guys have any questions uh, after the webinar, you can reach out to me with at those um, contact points. Great. Thanks, and Corey. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. Um, so we would like to thank ToolsForFlooring.com for sponsoring today's webinar and especially thank Corey Dickerson for presenting it. Thank you, Corey. I'm sure you, you're having a long week out there at Surfaces and we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you guys for having me. My team is already texting me to see when am I coming down. <laughs> Well, we won't keep you much longer. Um, but if you'd like more information, again, about the products that ToolsForFlooring.com offers, you can visit their website at ToolsForFlooring.com. And again, uh, Corey's information is here on the slides, which you can download in the handouts. We're also going to send you an email following the session that has um, a copy of the presentation slides um, along with a link to the recording once it's available. So you can you can listen again. Um, and again, like Corey said, if you have any questions, just, just reach right out to him. Um, or you can contact me and I will get the questions um, over to him. And for again, for our certified installation managers, this and all FCICA webinars may be credited towards your um, continuing education requirements for your SIM renewal. And just look at your uh, SIM handbook or the SIM page on the FCICA website, fcica.com, for more information. And if you're interested in sponsoring an FCICA uh, product promotional webinar or an educational webinar, you can contact me. Uh, my email is kelly at fcica.com. And we want to thank you again, Corey, for um, presenting today's webinar. And thanks so much for everybody for joining us. And that's the end of our program. Have a great day. Thank you.